you doing, buddy? Hey, Brian. So we got me, Chris GL and Cherie, and we're driving down Sunset Boulevard, going towards Santa Monica Pier to the ocean. So, but it, so we're, we're, we, we've got you with us as well. So welcome to 32 Degrees of Insanity. It's been a while. It has been. It has been. And, and Don, uh, just, just so that you know, the star overhead at the moment, at this point in time, is to gather as a company. Dude, I'm sorry, can you, can you turn down your mic just a little bit? Oh, uh, okay, why not? Just a little, just a tad, because you kind of just hurt a little bit. Why not? Uh, I think I heard it. Really? LEPD behind us? Are you serious? L guys and gals, here we are broadcasting live. The LAPD is possibly behind us. <laughs> Why are we not surprised? <laughs> no, just, just hear. Why? You guys hear? Yes? You can hear the figures, right? Okay. Uh, so yeah, why are we not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just said that the star of ahead, uh, Donnie, is to gather as a company of people. So that's what we're doing. Oh, okay. you're, you're driving down in your vehicle, the, the three of you, and we're on the other side of the world, and we're gathered together as a company. We are. <laughs> yes, we are. It's, 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 it's great to have you guys on the air tonight. Uh, we've got about uh, 12 minutes of, of this segment. We'll have you on for, the, for our next half hour in the next segment, and then we're going to close it up. But I know you've got a lot of things that you want to talk about, Brian. So this is like, I kind of set this up. I wanted you to have this time to be able to talk here at the end of the mind, the so-called end of the mind calendar, and kind of where we're going to go, where you see things moving forward, and kind of what you've been up to. And uh, so I'm just going to turn, that, turn over the mic to you guys and uh, let you guys uh, start talking. Well, uh, as you know, we've been trying to uh, educate the world for years that the, all the religious books uh, are totally uh, controlled by a demon force. And um, what's missing out of the King James Bible is very important um, because it points directly to um, reading what is happening in the end time here. Now, at uh, Christmas Day here, at uh, 25 minutes after midnight, uh, the Julian Day uh, for uh, that moment is uh, 286.10069, uh, and the 2861 number is the key number of the base of the Great Pyramid, which fulfills the Hindi prophecy of the uh, spreading of the word that Yahweh is back, for they call Yahweh uh, Jehovah. It's where the Jehovah Witnesses right. get their number from. So it's the wedding espousal number. Is what it means. So it's uh, very important at this point in time. Now, uh, okay, the Hindi prophecy. Let me ask you. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Are you there, Donnie? <sighs> <laughs> Cut off one of many. I've been pulled over by the police. <laughs> Isn't it illegal to drive while talking on a phone or something? It is in this country. It, I yeah, I don't know what it's like. It's probably different state oh. to state over there. They'll be listening and say, Bolly Mark. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. Okay, Brian, right, let's. let's, let's uh, Finish off where we start. Where, let's uh, finish off where we started. Let's start where we kicked off. And uh, we're talking about, before we all got cut off last hour, and I apologize for that. And of course, as you know, we're dropping along. We had uh, like six, ten minutes where nobody even knew where we were. So uh, we are safe in town. It's glad to have you back here with us. Uh, why don't we kind of finish where we started? Uh, what I was talking about was the various prophecies that have to be fulfilled by the mess messianic figure. And of course, uh, it has to be revealed. Um, through the King James Bible and the Quran, otherwise it's nonsense. And what it all boils down to is the uh, original first mention of the crucifixion and Jesus Christ by name was in the Hindu prophecy four and a half thousand years ago in the Vedas. Now the Vedas themselves, the, the word Veda means angels. So they was given this, these prophecies by the angel, naming 
right up till uh, the year 2012 when Jehovah, which uh, they call Yahweh and Jehovah, uh, which we call Yahweh, will be revealed. So this is the great Mahdi as well for Iran and of course for uh, the Sunni Muslims of the uh, Arab world. So, okay. Now, I, I uh, knew a uh, Elvis priest from Syria and uh, this is many years ago, I, I put a kitchen in for him, a beautiful kitchen I built for him. And uh, he had been to Syria um, and then decided to, by reading the Quran and the ancient Aramaic number system that there was going to be terrible things happening in Syria uh, at this time. And uh, he came back to Australia. Now this was in, uh, oh, uh, let's see now, 2000, that era. And I uh, visited him at his house uh, several times, and I uh, brought along the code book that I use, which is the concordance of the King James Bible, and uh, we sat there comparing what each number meant, and he would look it up in Aramaic and work it out in ancient Aramaic, and it would confirm what the King James Bible concordance was saying, which I've been saying all along. So uh, I asked him, I said, what kind of man is, uh, is that? And he said, oh, he's a saint. Are we off the air again? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll continue. He was a saint. And uh, as a saint, um, he did all right, the things. Right, David. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, all right. So I want to make sure I, I was just uh, testing something with my mic. All right. Um, was I broadcasting all the way through? Anyhow, yeah, I'll continue. Um, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, the president of, of uh, Syria at that time was a friend of his. And this man uh, that was an Elohist priest, he said that Sadan was himself an Elohist who believed in Jesus and the crucifixion and all that kind of stuff and the Hindu prophecy, all that. And so um, it was all about Damascus, whether they're going to destroy Damascus or not. Sure, yeah, of course. So um, he, wasn't, he wasn't going back. He said that what's going to happen and what is happening now is that first off, uh, the Hindu prophecy has uh, found a Mahdi for the Persians and uh, the Messiah for the Russians, and of course the rest of Christianity reject the whole idea that Jesus would come back as his father, the soul of Jesus, which is the creator anyhow, in the flesh. And so right. it's a rejection prophecy. Now that number is Psalms 118.22. And that is a distance in kilometers from where I was born to where my wife was born, my first wife. So okay. prophecy is fulfilled by the genetics of the children born to Ireland, my first wife, and then my uh, uh, second wife, Pauline, and our son that was murdered, uh, full-term baby. And I held that baby in my arms for three days, taking the, the baby up more. He looked exactly like me. And he had been murdered by a uh, locum that had been sent down from Tweed Head 600 miles away to replace this lovely man who was the obstetrician at the time. And I said to that baby, don't you worry, I'll get you back. And I kept on repeating that until the skin on the baby started to uh, open up and the flesh was exposed and so forth. So that had to happen, as I said. And years later, I meet Michelle in Australia and she is Mary Magdalene and doesn't want to believe it and doesn't want any part of it. And in fact, end up throwing me out the house because I was showing a miracle after miracle after miracle. Even Angel showing up talking about that wasn't good enough. So her offspring, Rihanna, she uh, was born in Geelong and the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes. And she gave birth to Alaska on a date that I predicted. And then the second child will be 8.8888 years old when I'm 69, which ends the pyramid prophecy and the Mayan prophecy. So um, there is this time of destruction. Uh, everything I've done in the numbers so far, it's all destruction of America. So um, the only way to, to save America is there's a new name of God. And of course we prove that absolutely by taking the verse that it is found in and seeing what the geometry is for that verse. And that verse is my, in days, in numbers, of the geometry or in English, is my age in days on the 69th birthday. So we go to the stars once again, and we go back 8,888 8, days, and we've got uh, 
the Cook sighting on uh, August the 30th, 1769, as he was sailing back from Antarctica, he wrote in his journal that he seen this magnificent comet. So he was a white man to see, because at that latitude where he was, sailing back up in New Zealand. Now, in New Zealand, he had with him a Harrison clock. The Harrison clock was invented by one of my relations, and it gives you the longitude. He won the longitude prize of 20,000 pounds in 1768 or something like that. The king, of course, uh, had to step into the parliament to having uh, received his money, because that was a lot of money in those days, like 20 million a day. But it's entirely accurate. So he sailed on to measure New Zealand with it, which is lays on two islands, and the latitudes are 888.8 miles apart. Every New Zealander knows that. So what we have then is um, my age, uh, which is 69, which means Yahweh, on the January the 11th, and uh, next year 2013, which is the 1114th lunation going back in time, gives you the starting date of the Great Pyramid in Egypt, in the nations in, that's measuring the inside of the uh, chambers of all of the Great Pyramid, which are 1114 pyramid inches apart. That's the Queen's Chamber floor to the top of the uh, Grand Gallery. So, what we end up with is a genetic. Um, Miracle. Um, when I'm 8,880 days old, I'm in Port Alberni on May the 4th. Now, on May the 4th in the year 2000, all planets line up, which is uh, put my weight of 222 pounds on that. Um, all those planets' total gravity is the area of the Shroud of Turin, 7353 pounds. So that is the height that Cook, when he was marking out. Um, uh, his voyage to study the transition of Venus in 1769 on the 3rd of June, what he did with the Harrison clock was verify Captain Wallace, who had sailed there before him with the previous Harrison clock, and he wrote in his journal that Wallace was correct, his longitude is correct. So all these things are pointing to a breadcrumb trail of revealing in the end time that is a Hindu prophecy that this God, when he comes to the earth, he'll have a new name. That's verified by the um, King James Bible. So we have to find out what that new name is. Well, it's in 312. Right? And that name, when you do the geometry of all of that 312, now my name, Brian Leonard Lightning Marshall, has a geometry of 312. So you count all the letters in that and put it through your... Uh, it's called the Babylonian numbering system, which is basically you can nominate any value for each letter. So you put a word in, like Brian and the and Marshall comes up with 312 on base 1. Or you put the entire verse where the 312 is, and that will give you my age in days when this occurs in 2013, which is the end of the pyramid prophecy which is 88888 eight, 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 eight days back in time to when Cook wrote it in his journal when he's sailing towards New Zealand, which he later measured with the Harrison clock, my relative, 888.8 eight, eight, eight miles between latitudes. He verifies Tahiti when he sailed there previously that to watch the transition of Venus. He also verified it as being the number for Gabriel in square miles, nautical miles. So, when he gazed up at the top of the mountain there, admiring its height, he was looking for a place to place the uh, equipment to study the transition of Venus up in the day. So what actually happened was uh, the natives stole all his equipment. And finally he got it all back just in time to watch the transition of Venus. And he's on the mountain, which is 7353 feet high, which is the area of the Shroud of Turin. So the children that was born to myself and the children that was born to my third wife give us the girls' ages, and they all link into, and with Rhiannon and her mother, Michelle and I, link into my children's births. Now, how that works is this. My eldest daughter, born on May the 4th, 1968, when the sunlight for Port Alberni, Canada, was 888 minutes, she was conceived 280 days earlier, I was there at the time, so I can tell you what happened, and Jupiter was above for 888 minutes. When I was born, 
Sunrise to um, moonrise was 888 minutes, and my brother is 8.88 years older than I, and he's now dead. So the numbers then of the birth of my oldest daughter to my eldest, oh yes, and 888 is uh, Jesus in the Greek geometry. So from my oldest daughter to uh, my uh, youngest stepdaughter, there's a difference of time of 11.626 years. Now I was 11.62.6 weeks old when I married on April the 23rd, 1966. 1966 is Lucifer. So I followed the step like a salmon swimming uphill, going to a place where I don't really want to go, but am compelled to do so. And these produces children that are 11.626 years apart. I'm married on 11.26.6 weeks. And then we have the width of the antechamber of the Great Pyramid, which I've got to go through, 116.26 inches wide. And then we have the age difference between my youngest daughter and my youngest stepdaughter, which is 777 days or 2.127 years. And you look up 2127 in Hebrew and it's the word zia. And then you look up the age Michelle was when she gave birth to her daughter, and she was 32.75 years old. So you look up where's 32.75. Well, both words are solitary words out of 600,000 words in the Bible. And they are found it not only in the same verse, but side by side. When you add all the names up, the seven going back to Heber, the patriarch, that's mentioned in 1 Chronicles 5.13, they total 31101, which is how many verses there are in the Bible. 31101 divided by 7 is 4443, which is fire and God. And when you measure the distance between my two daughters with the houses I've built in Canada, the distance apart is 444.3 kilometres. So that is a stand up, uh, open as there, slam dunk, I'm God, sorry if you don't like me, but you don't get to judge whether you like me or not. What you've got to be concerned about, am I going to do the things that Jesus would do? Well, of course I'm compelled to, because I said I was going to do it when I was Jesus. Right? So I've got to forgive everybody. Forgive my father. I'm not inclined to do so with the Jews, however, because they do know what they do. All right, Brian, we're, we're going, I'll bring you back on here at the, uh, at the 20 mark here, uh, 32 degrees of insanity. Donnie Gelson here on the Truth Frequency Radio Network. What do you think of that, baby? <laughs> you see Donnie Gelson in a flustered stage. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Hang on a sec here. <laughs> I'm like completely flustered. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's doing the driving? <laughs> no, no, no. We're now at the Santa Monica Pier uh, here right. in. Uh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, we're right at the Santa Monica Pier. We're literally in get the roller coaster right now. <laughs> and Chris and Sheree are, uh, are going to. Uh, 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 we're gonna. Uh, what I wanted to do is, I, I, I kind of want to, um, if you don't mind, I want to bring you guys back on next week if we can. Yeah, no um, problem. And we'll we'll get a little bit more in discussion of it. Yeah. Um, the last hour, just because Chris and Sheree are here, this is a really miraculous thing, and kind of we're a little flustered. Um, if it's okay with you, uh, to continue with them, and we'll uh, we'll bring you guys on next week. Yeah, no problem at no. all. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it so much, Brian. Looking forward to it and uh, love you guys so much. Well, this, this will make a great horror movie, by the way. It will. It, well, it, well, let's sum up. Let's sign off together on the air. We got about a minute till we go back on the air here, uh, and I want to, you know, kind of sign off and we'll tell them that uh, you'll be back next week listening to us, and uh, then Chris and Shree and myself are going to sit here. <laughs> Chris has been videotaping this whole thing. Oh, <laughs> right, doing do a YouTube. So, we, we, it's, it's quite interesting. We're going to have the whole show on YouTube. Uh, and we'll, the, the whole, like, all of us, you're going to see videotape of what we're li literally going down to the oceans, and here we are, we're broadcasting, you're going to see the whole thing. It's going to be, this is going to be a classic first two degrees of insanity. <laughs> I love it. You know, and, you know, I, I, I love you, yeah, Brian, I do, I do. And, uh, you know, I, I think we really are changing the world, um, everything uh, is, I feel, do you think we're on a descriptive timeline? Do you think that that's the case? Yeah, absolutely. Time is oh. changing very dra dramatically at the moment. No, I just, I, 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 I don't for some odd reason, and I don't, I, I don't buy into it. 
Right. Um, this is how I feel. I don't know. You know, who knows? You know what? Can't we stop it? Or do you think it's done? Can do we, we read? Don't yes. just just to put my two cents worth in, um, no, 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 really no. is the time for righteousness of God to arise in men who have been completely deluded. The crisis here, we've got to get on and overturn. What is happening in Syria is, an, is atrocious and it is the USA doing it. They have supplied the chemical weapons that they are using against the righteous government of God that is the Assad. Bashir Assad is a righteous man. All right, we got, we got 10 seconds. So hang on, 10 seconds, guys. Thank Name of God, Brian Leonard Gulati Marshall, pray on that. Hey, Brian, 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 we're not on the air yet. Pull out. Hold on, we're not on the air. Hang on. Okay, we're on the, we'll be on the air in 30 seconds. I thought we were going to come back on that. Yeah, he said to say goodbye. On the air. Oh. One minute. All right, keep your on mute. Keep your mic on mute, Jack. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Well, wait, follow his lead. Mike's on mute. Yes, please. All right, guys. Welcome back. 32 degrees and standing. Guys, check it out where we are right now. If you're listening to Brian Leonard, we're likely Marsh. We're going to have a little sign off words with him. We're going to come back because, guess what, guys? Chris Chio, my son, Sharif, we are here at the Santa Monica Pier. So we're gonna we're gonna bring Brian on. Brian, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. Now, right as we were in break, we were, you and I were talking a little bit, and I, I said to you, I said, Brian, do you think we're on destructive timeline? And you just say yes. Absolutely. Right? What I mean, just you honestly think there's no way we can fix this? No, yeah, there is one way. You've got to start praying in the new name of God, which is Brian Leonard Gallatin Marshall. If you don't believe that, there's something wrong with you. After all the information I've given to the world, right? And I can tell you that they are targeting all these places around the world, the Vatican, all going to be taken out because they offend me, right? And America in particular offends me. I've been through America, I've, I've drove 60,000 miles through America, I know, and love a lot of Americans. But what's been happening to you is that you've allowed the devil to rule America. I mean, here's Bush, who's a uh, skull and bonesman. His, his grandfather is Alistair Crowley, the most evil man on earth. And then uh, his father was a bonesman. And then you got Obama, a bonesman. I mean, give me a break. Especially a Christian country. Okay. See, all the senators are all controlled. And of course, uh, everybody who works for Obama, you'll find that all top of officials are Jews or Zionists, but primarily they are Israeli uh, loyal Jews. All right, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is this, Brian. We are going to continue this conversation next week. Right. Next we're, we're going to get into a more serious conversation about this. I need to, since, of course, we said earlier, um, you know, we this was kind of an epic moment for my 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 boss, you know, my network. He's here with me, uh, and I want to... You're my boss. I'm your homeboy. Oh, you're my homeboy. All right, okay. Yeah. I just, I'm just so, you know, how I am. I'm so corporate. I know. Yeah, you know, but uh, all right. So my boy uh, here <laughs> wants to. Uh, we we want to uh, share this. Those stories. This is like a one and one at a time thing. I know we have a lot of important information that we need to discuss, and we're going to do it right. You know, it's a perfect time to do it right before the new year because I know this is what I believe. I think you are correct, Brian. If we do not change the shit before the first of the year, we are doomed. You're not correct. You're, you're quite right. right. So, yeah. You're quite right. All right, sir. We will talk soon, Brian. I love you guys very much. Have a wonderful night, and we'll talk very soon. All right? Okay. okay. Thanks, Goodbye, Tommy. Goodbye, Tommy. as well. No problem. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. All right. So that was Brian Leonard and Paul Lightning Marshall uh, down in Australia. And, uh... Okay. Go ahead.